The International Air Transport Association now predicts that passenger numbers within the continent will recover over a shallower gradient, before surging to 101% in 2025, a year later than the global industry average. Many African airlines have not had the luxury of strong margins or cash cushions or government bailouts for that matter to be able to pivot their business or to be able to, uh, to ride through the tough times. As a result, you've seen only airlines like Ethiopian who've been able to really pivot towards cargo and maintain profitability and break even, while other airlines have either failed or had to significantly change their business models. The aviation sector is an integral part of the continental logistics network. So some level of air transport in Africa is actually more critical than you find it in, you know, in, in continents such as Europe, where there is a more mature ground transport sector that is able to provide the trade and passenger travel links uh, that, that are needed for a country to be able to develop and continue trading. Airline safety is a critical issue for any aircraft and regulators play a key role here. South African airline Comair has just been grounded for safety issues. Well, it's extremely worrying for the group because, as you know, the group has just recently emerged from business rescue. So we have to assume that it is not really um, financially very strong at this stage. Um, and therefore, there's real concern that it doesn't have the depth of resources to survive both the loss of revenue and, of course, the reputational damage done by a grounding such as this. Despite this latest incident, the continental regulators are doing a good job, according to one analyst. Well, one area where African aviation has shown significant positive strides over the last two decades has been in the area of safety. Where African airlines were once considered highly risky, today African air transport is actually safer than the global air average when it comes to uh, a number of accidents per 100 departures. The aviation sector is crucial to the economic development of all 54 states in the African continent, provided that everybody works together. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.